Welcome back, friends. I'm Metal7. This is RimWorld Beta 18. Now, I did actually mean to have a video up yesterday. I'm sorry. Um, with the current YouTube change in policy in regards to their uh, curb stomping of small channels, um, I'm currently undecided in what I will do long term with my YouTube channel. I plan on finishing all the current series as they now stand at a minimum. I think the rest is going to depend on what type of tools I have left as a creator after being removed from the YouTube Partner Program for the second time and after getting my channel demonetized for the third time, despite the fact I don't have a single negative strike or any misbehavior in anywhere in the history of my YouTube channel. Um, in the past, things like scheduling video uploads was a perk only of the YouTube Partner Program. Everybody else had to upload their videos and they went live when they went up. Uh, or they were private. Um, you could come back in at the time and make them public at the time you wanted to, but you had to actively log back in and do that when you wanted. Uh, for those of us that have busy lives and are still trying to put in 20 to 40 hours a week on YouTube and keep channels up, the time videos go live is not always a time I have to sit home and do nothing. Um, I want those times to be consistent on a day-to-day -day basis. RimWorld is technically on my schedule slated to go up at 4.30. And when I pre-record and put videos up, that is when they get scheduled to go up. Currently, because I record them in the morning, um, after giving you guys an evening and a night to watch my time, to watch the videos and comment, um, I generally just put them up when they're when they're done. Um, if I get a shot really early, I may I may delay it a little bit to the, to the 4.30 time. But realistically, I wanna make sure that by every day by 4.30, you have a new RimWorld video. My Football Manager series goes out at 8.30 in the morning. I do generally record that farther in advance than I record RimWorld. Not weeks or anything, but usually two or three days in advance. So that's done that way. So tools like that are kind of essential to make sure that channels get consistent content updated when they need to be updated. Um, also, once a channel is demonetized, uh, the YouTube algorithm will not give it a priority well, I mean, let me change the way that's worded. A monetized video will always go in front of a non-monetized video, okay? Because that's how YouTube gets paid. So once they demonetize me, that's one less way I have to compete against other established channels. It's gonna make it that much harder to get viewers, to get suggested, to get all that sort of stuff um, against the existing channels. Uh, this move, in my opinion, does nothing to protect large channels at least in regards to misbehavior or advertising. Advertising is handed out in YouTube from a top-down fashion, so the big channels get all of theirs first. Cutting out small channels does in no way um, solidify or, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, oh, I've spaced on it. Make their income more stable. YouTube income is a little bit unstable. It goes up and down month to month, but that has to do more with the season and with advertising rates for the season. So clearly Christmas season, advertising rates are much more expensive. And as such, YouTubers who get a percentage of the advertising revenue get more money during Christmas. It doesn't have anything to do with whether there's small channels or large channels. If there's not enough videos to go around, the small channels get cut out first. Okay, so, so we're not taking away advertising ever from a large channel. Uh, in my opinion, this move does two things. One, it allows them to tell their advertisers that they're taking actions to cut down on misbehavior. The fact that the misbehavior that's been a problem has all been large channels and has nothing to do with the small channels doesn't really have anything to do with it. Nobody really wants to change the status quo. Advertisers want to show that they're responsive to the comments and complaints by their, by their customers, but they don't really want to stop the flow of money, right? So they're looking to be able to just say, hey, we did something. YouTube, in the same vein, wants to be able to tell their advertisers, who are their customers, that they are doing something. But again, they don't want to really upset the status quo because, as YouTube said in their letter that they sent out, YouTubers who make six figures is up 40%, and YouTubers make a very small percentage of the money that YouTube makes on those same channels. So as YouTube gets bigger and bigger, they do not want to upset the apple cart. So they're looking to essentially pretend to take action without actually taking any action that's going to affect anything. And the easiest way to do that is to kick the small channels from the table and pretend they've done something. 
It's also uh, probably an admission that their algorithm, which is supposed to determine whether a video is ad friendly or not, is hopelessly broken. It still is flagging probably 50% of my videos when they get uploaded as non-ad advertiser friendly, and I have to request a manual review. To their credit, they have done those manual reviews. But clearly, their self-learning algorithm is not self-learning. Again, my channel has no strikes against it. As far as I know, it has no complaints against it as far as any sort of bad content. I don't play games that glorify sex, violence, or any of that other stuff. YouTube is probably, or YouTube, RimWorld's probably the closest to that with the violence. I mean, we do have shooting. It is very cartoony, but there is some of that involved. But that's probably, this is probably the most This is probably the, as, as, as close to R-rated as my channel gets, okay, right here. So, um, and so that algorithm is broken, which then requires them to go back and manually do stuff. Now, there are a lot more small channels than there are large channels, so that does put a larger strain on, uh, on their labor, right, on, on, on their staff. So this is going to help that out a lot. However, <laughs> the fact that that's a reason at all essentially is proof that their algorithm is not learning. So it does two positive things for YouTube, completely at the expense of small channels. If you see large channels coming out in support of this saying, oh, we need this to stabilize our, they're bullshitting you. They're lying to you. I don't care who it is. Uh, I don't care if it's Loki Doki. I don't, uh, I haven't watched his video yet to be fair. Well, he has said he supports the new moves. I haven't seen his reasoning behind it. So don't, don't take that as a negative. I, I do like him. I still watch his channel. I just haven't watched that video yet. Um, but essentially they're being ingenuous to you, okay? Small channels in no way, shape or form can affect a large channel's performance. Uh, our misbehavior doesn't affect them because by the very definition of a small channel, we have no voice. If a, if a tree small, falls on a small channel, it does not make a sound because nobody is there to see it. It doesn't matter if that tree happens to be goose stepping along to old Nazi music or not. Nobody knows it happens. We only know about it when PewDiePie does something stupid when Paul Logan decides that suicide is a funny joke. Those are the problems that are caused. Small channels were not any way, shape or form part of the problem here. So um, the stated reasons are a complete bullshit. Okay, that's, that's, that's the end result of it. The stated reasons are lies. Um, that doesn't mean there aren't reasons that are legitimate business reasons. Um, but they're legitimate business reasons at the expense of a very large part of the YouTube community. And as such, I do not know if this channel will continue past January 20th, which I believe is the, the day I get my, 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 my partner program yanked out from underneath me for the second time in seven months. The first time was in April when they, they, they first instituted these requirements. Um, but for the moment, this channel will continue. Um, having said that, life sometimes has a way of putting things in perspective. Um, I went to school yesterday, start preparing, classes start today. For me, uh, the classes I teach, school started Tuesday. Um, and I came home to discover that my uncle had died. Uh, he's a long trawl huck, long haul trucker who'd been fighting cancer. He'd, last week he was given a clean bill of health and we thought things were on, on the way up. Um, apparently he developed a stomach ulcer and somewhere around Ben, Oregon, um, bled to death. So, been a tough couple days for me. We will have a video today. Um, I've already wasted the first 10 minutes of it. I apologize for that if you're here just for RimWorld. Um, but I've always been very open and transparent about my the way I run the channel, how I run the channel, whether it's from changing the way I film it to edit it to what's going on behind the scenes at YouTube. Um, and I thought you guys deserve to know kind of what's in my brain at the moment. My guess is long term, I probably will continue a YouTube channel, but I will probably switch my primary attention to Twitch and things will get filmed on Twitch and then get moved over to YouTube. That's my guess. I don't know if that will happen. Um, I don't know if my own personal depressions and anxieties are gonna let me thrive on Twitch in the first place. Uh, it's very, very difficult for me to log on and do something like that. Um, but from a business standpoint, that's the correct answer. So we'll see how it goes. If I still have the majority of my toolkit for the partner program, YouTube may continue to be um, a focus. I have gotten more subscriptions in the last couple of days. 
subscriptions for me are up rather dramatically. I expect to be over a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I'm already at 3,000 hours, a little over 3,000 hours. So the 4,000 hours of, of required viewing time isn't going to be an issue at all. It's just a thousand subscribers. So I don't know. I don't know what my long term is. I don't know where I make a stand on principle and where I make a where I make a, a rational business decision, to be honest. But let's play some RimWorld today. I did play for a few days. You see, winter is almost over. It is the 14th of August, of Jugist, excuse me. Um, and um, nothing's happened. There's been no, there's been no raids. Nobody's died of the plague. Uh, we do still have some food. I have done a little bit of hunting. Uh, we did, let's see, you were here for the, the Carnosaur that charged in. I think that's kind of the last thing that really happened. Let's, let's speed up time. Got an Aurora, beautiful Aurora. Everybody's going to get a nice mood boost. That will be nice. Of course, everybody's sleeping while it happens. But Hawk Lord's getting some here. Does it, does it show up there? Greed, ugly environment. Beautiful Aurora. It's an ugly environment with a beautiful Aurora. I don't know how ugly the environment is. Now there's some minus ones out there. I guess it's not gorgeous. This is the problem, probably. Maybe we put a wall around that. Just to make sure that this area itself doesn't um, doesn't continue to cause... Well, I don't know. Is it... It's still going to be... Unless I completely in wall and encircle it, it's still going to be ugly. Um... And green light has food poisoning. Um, hmm. We could pretty easily. Let's see here. Let's go structure. Let's put a door right there. There we go. That's kind of what I expected there. So now we had the option of making... I think this just needs a boardwalk. I, oh, that's not a deep water bridge. I wanted... Now, we clearly at one point built heavy bridges, right? Oh, no, 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 everybody, it was, I wasn't paying attention, everybody's bored anyway, everybody get over here, we're about to lose the alpaca. But we're about to get revenge. Everybody run away, run away, run away. This is where running gun helps. No, no, green light. Why is green light? There we go, everybody. There we go, there we go. Laser blasters and running gun for the win. What happened to Magnus? Did he actually get hurt? Um. Oh, somebody shot him. <laughs> One of us shot him. Okay, fair enough. Uh, stuff happens when you get attacked by a T-Rex, right? Let's just... Just be fair. Well, we got some more food. We have one less worry. And unfortunately, though, we lost our alpaca. Now, um, I was told that there were some training incidents that happened. So we're going to continue on. Clearly not enough. Um, but let's let's continue on with it. And the fact that we end up with people who are completely bored, not doing anything, that do have, like, green light, cookies, hawk lord. We've got four people who are idle. Cookies has handling as a number one and is not doing it. Hawklord has it as a number one and is not doing it. Uh, Darth Nihilus does not have handling. Green light. Does green light do it? And green light does not. So two of the three are supposed to be doing it. Let's see. Can we force him to train? No usable food. Hay can't be used? Oh, when did that change? Because we used to be able to use hay for training, right? I'm not completely forgetting that, am I? Can I build on this now? No. And again, we've lost the ability to build this. We built it. I think there was an update to the mod, and now we have to research it. I think I saw it down here somewhere. 
Advanced bridge building. Yeah, see? How far are we on? We're gonna we're gonna continue this stuff first. Maybe we'll add as our fourth one. It is a small thing. Um, yeah, so we've lost the ability to do this because we built it right here. This is all heavy bridge. See, steel heavy deep water bridge. So at some point we lost that ability, um, which is a little bit annoying. But um, that's okay. We'll we'll upgrade this as we need to. Um, okay, so. Well, that means we need to come here. We need to do, we need to add a kibble job then. And uh, we'll do this until, whoops, not suspended, do until. And uh, we just need this for training mostly. So I think it's gonna make like 150 in one chunk. So let's just make 35 for now. Uh, and we'll just drop it on the ground when it gets there. And, uh, Call it a day. We do have plenty of meat now that we just killed a, tyranno a Tyrannosaurus Rex. So we have some meat to do this with. So let's make sure that, let's see, who do we have that cooks but doesn't cook a lot? Um, Hawk, why is Hawk Lord cooking? Maybe he's just there to butcher. Let's go ahead and grab Tiberia. Tiberia could use a little bit of work. Um, where are you, Tiberia? Consume. No, not consume. Oh, Hawk Lord's coming over to do it. Okay. Where are you, Hawk Lord? There you are. Coming down to take care of that. Make a little bit of kibble. Excellent. Mad animal. Local squirrel. Uh, do we have everybody set to attack? Yes, 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 no. Um, you know what? You have a shooting of one. I think you two can stay that way. Your shooting is better, and you have a heavy blaster. Uh, and Darth, your shooting's two. We'll let you run two. Okay. So now we should see more training, hopefully. Keep an eye on that as we get some kibble made. Okay, now some other things we can do here. Uh, we've got a large sculpture. Let's install that in here. What's going on? Oh, that's the squirrel. Yes? Oh, green light's fleeing from the squirrel. Sandler's hunting it. Of course, it goes after one of the few people that doesn't shoot back. There we go. There we go. One, one squirrel taken care of. And we've already hauled it inside. Beautiful. All right. So we should see actual this. Oh, whoops. We never did get that done. Let's go. Uh, oh, it's a large skull. It's awful. Um, beauty minus 14. Let's not put that one up. Uh, let's let's cancel that. How about this one? Superior. Um, did we install that thing somewhere? It just disappeared. Yes. Let's, 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 let's uninstall that. <laughs> okay, so we've got a couple options. One, we can put it in here. Um, or we can put it in here where people are working. I think we put it in here for now. And then if we get another one made, we'll do another one. Uh, and which one is... We'll add a couple more there and see what happens. Oh wait, stone blocks forever. Uh, apparently we have four outer uniforms done. Maybe? No. Oh yeah, we do. We have uniforms done. So what we can do is we can come in here. Do we want to make sure that people have uniforms on? Let's, let's take a look at the pants here. Uh, Insulation, heat, cold, a little bit of armor versus what are they wearing? Uh, gear. They've got this jumpsuit. Uh, Let's we'll stick with the jumpsuits for now. How about Darth? He's got Synthread uh, and he's got pants on. Okay, so we are getting there. We stick with what we have. I think they're, they're reasonably better for the moment. So we do have five people who are 
who are idle. So we clearly need more to do. All right, Lord Tam knows. What do we have? Uh, you hunt. That's fine. We don't have a lot of hunting we need to do right now. You do plant cut. Uh, you'll smith. You'll tailor your art, your craft. Um, you could be here, here, here. So I'm not sure why you're not doing any of that. Um, green light. What do you do? Uh, you could construct, you could plant, cut, you can haul, you can clean. We don't have a lot for green light to do. We're just going to have to live with that. That's fine. Uh, Hawk Lord. Um, finish. Again, I'm not sure why that's on. Oh, because you do like it. Uh, you handle. You cook. You hunt. You construct. You grow. The not growing is kind of holding us back at the moment. Um, and that's kind of it for that. I don't know why you're not handling, but that's fine. Uh, we do have we do have kibble so i suppose i could ask him to come here and by the way he did gonzalo here did get um animal interacted too recently okay and we probably don't have a lot on the map with winter you know what i think we're just gonna have to suck it up and accept that some people aren't gonna have a lot to do but let's find some mining how about that i'm just gonna let time roll here okay so um Let's mine that. Let's mine that. Might need to mine that out to get to it. We got some visitors coming in. That won't that won't hurt at all. Uh, let's mine that. Something's happening. We got a big pause. Nope, no, nope. it just decided to pause on us again. Mine that. More compacted plastic. It's been a while since I had a map that had plasteel on it, to be honest. I'm not seeing a lot more steel around. There we go. See, I wasn't seeing a lot more steel around, though. Come on. There we go. Another long pause. The game is getting really, really buggy. Oh, there's a lot more steel down here. Let's we'll get some of that stuff caught up on and then we'll we'll worry about the steel. All right, let's take a look at our visitors here. We've got four eyes, just in case we want one of them. Uh, kind, force sensitive, and nimble. Mmm, Neely Dodge Chance with Force. I think we have to take that, guys. Um, won't do animals caring or cooking. But can shoot. Can construct, can mine, a little bit of... A good researcher. I don't know. I mean, essentially, it's just for the Force. Let's... Let's take her, because we don't have any Jedi at the moment. Let's take a look at Harriet. Uh, super immune, brawler, masochist. Um, good crafting, good intellectual, good with animals. Doesn't shoot. I think I'm going to pass on this one. This Normally I would take this person in a heartbeat. Um, but I think for now we're, we're beginning to kind of reach critical mass for the people we have. I think now unless we really, really want them. Slowpoke, cannibal, industrious. Those kind of work against, you know, balance each other out. Um, you can cook, but you don't love it. I think we can pass on you as well. If we come up with a great cook, I think we keep them iron willed, teetotal, or gay. None of that's, well, none of that's bad at all. Iron willed is actually great. Military commissar. A tax inspector of the Galactic Empire. A good doctor. Ah, oh, I really, really want to take that person just because of the backstory. But I think we're going to go. I don't think we need a commissar at the moment, um, despite the fact we have four, four new people kind of inducted into our unit here, so to speak. They're local scouts, you know, and the military has a, all militaries have a huge, huge history of utilizing local scouts. Um, machining. So now we can build a machining table. Uh, work, production. Breakdown of batteries, not an issue. We can fix that. Uh, machining table. I'm going to go there. Uh, what do we have cloth-wise? We can make a nice chair for it. Uh, textiles. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's that's bad. The deer. Oh, wait. Everybody. Everybody. Um, but let me look to see what type of chair we're going to make. Uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. We're going to make a T-Rex chair. Because who doesn't want a T-Rex leather chair? That is freaking amazing. So, there we go. Okay. All right, everybody over here. Here come the first deer. Let's 
Is that it? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and un ungrab everybody here. Uh, those that are alive, we can finish off. The rest of them we can haul urgently. Who do we have that can finish off? We've got a few people. Hawk Lord. Oh, you've already gone to bed. Um, spring has begun. Of course, with a wave of, of man, <laughs> man hunting deer. That's how that's always how spring comes in, right? In like a man eating deer, out like a lion. Alright. That's okay. Well, I think we solved one problem. We solved the training issue. Um, hopefully we've got that sorted. We all lived. We may potentially get a force sensitive person on the chan on the on the team. We'll have to make another bet if that's the case. Uh, which is fine. We've got enough food to last us for a little while. We've got enough leather to last us for a while. I think we're doing well. At this point, the everyday survival job is probably taken care of. I don't really want to make this too much bigger. I'm trying not to improve our wealth too much. We'll continue down the research tree. Uh, Multi-analyzers next. Then we can decide what we want to do after that. Do we want to go for... Well, we need to fix the the, the bridge thing, um, the advanced bridge building. But after that, I'm not quite sure what we do. And we may want bed rolls so we can take beds with us as, as we raid if we need to. Uh, we may want powered armor. We may want to go that route. Um, it's a pretty good, big deal. But um, again, it, it could help us. Uh, there's a lot of things we could do next. Let me know what you think we should work next. Gun turns is probably a big one, too. Um, all of those are, I mean, 700, 800, those are fairly small. Geothermal power is probably a good one. Um, clearly we can go down the weapons line. Uh, clearly we could go down the armor line. Um, I've got advanced bridge making there. I think I'm going to add bed rolls on there because it's small. And again, because at some point we're going to want to move around. It doesn't hurt to have that. Um, oops. But one of the things... Chief Anger. Oh, we got our, we'll rename our new recruit next time. So, four eyes. Four, something is awakening. Let's take a look at your, we'll do this and then we'll end this, this episode. Uh, bed rest, hall. In theory, bed rest should never affect this, but it seems to. So, um, turn off, whoops, that for you. I think that means you won't do it at all. You will hunt, you will construct, you will mine. They'll put mining at a two. Art is a two. Put cleaning back up as a one, hauling is a two. So you will hunt and construct, but your first priority is mining, which you love, then art, well, cleaning, mining, art, hauling, hunting and wardening. We'll keep it low, but you will do it. Um, what is your social? Social six is not terrible. So I think that'll work. Uh, and like I say, we'll, we'll rename Four Eyes next next episode. That'll, that'll be something we do right away. So I think we're doing okay. Um, yeah, spring is here. Spring has sprung. We still got snowmen in the fields. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and, and turn on sowing. It's 43 degrees outside after all, and spring is here, so we'll see how that goes. And uh, we come back, we will start more aggressively beginning to build up our supply. Oh, we got another T-Rex. A male one this time. Okay. Um, we'll start more aggressively working on building up our population of trained animals. And then uh, we'll see how that goes. So anyway, hope you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, um, I'm sorry about kind of the first 10 minutes. I know it's a little bit of a letdown. Again, I'll let you know when I know what I'm going to do, but a final decision on YouTube will probably wait until February 20th. In the meantime, um, at the very least, this series will continue. We'll see how, how long it goes. Um, if it comes up close-ish, you know, a week or so within it, uh, I, may, I may pause RimWorld at that point until a final decision is made. Um, or we may start to do some streaming at that point just to kind of te test the waters um, 
for Twitch. So let me know, what do you think about Twitch? Do you guys watch Twitch? Do you like Twitch? Is Twitch an option? Um, should I just suck it up and keep working on YouTube? Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I'd love to know. Um, you are my community. You guys are the most vocal of the people that watch my channels. Um, my Room World videos are always my top rated, my top watched, my top viewed. Um, and as such, you guys get a say in what happens. So um, let me know. And uh, I will see you next time. Cheers.